All right, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reviewing or reacting to uh, the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party. So let's get into it, man. We'll be back. <laughs> Who raised you? Oh my god, this dude is so hard. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, Children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. Oh, they got the DuckTales joint. Uh, yeah, we got that. But look, um, this is a courtesy of Liberal High Mind. Um, you know what I'm saying? But we're just going to play the part. And um, tell us what y'all think in the comments. And um, we're just going to go through it. I'm not going to stop it. I'm just going to let it play. And then uh, we'll come back to discuss. All right, let's go. So let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so take a look at leftist hypocrisy on display. Now that he's got the right attorney general in position to do it, we now know they really have been trying to gin up criminal prosecutions and criminal investigations into the president's perceived enemies, politically motivated persecution, right? Courtesy of Bill Barr. I'll, I'll roll in the FBI on you. That's how banana republics work, right? The home of the 45th president of the United States has been raided by the FBI. Mr. Trump is using the Justice Department to go after his perceived enemies. I feel worried about the prospect of the Justice Department being used as a tool of this president or any. In our little banana republic, any capable prosecutor can get a grand jury to hand down an indictment of something as innocent as a ham sandwich. Today, an indictment was unsealed charging Donald J. Trump. Breaking news on former President Trump. He's been indicted for the fourth time in five months. Bill Barr, on the president's behalf, is weaponizing the Justice Department to go after the president's enemies. When you win an election, you don't seek to just prosecute the losing side. The president using the Justice Department as a weapon to get what he wants. Department of Justice is totally politicized. Sticking the Department of Justice on political opponents. Threatening to imprison his political rival, Banana Republic style. Trying to exact revenge against all of his enemies. Tin pot dictator in a Banana Republic. Is acting more like a Banana Republic dictator. He's using government resources to go after his political opponent. Um, essentially, we are a Banana Republic. That we are... We are um, seeking to have a bogus in criminal investigation into a political opponent. And that's using the Department of Justice to also target Trump's political opponent for nefarious reasons. This is a massive abuse of power and a betrayal of our values. The President of the United States is targeting a family member of a political opponent. This is a type of thing that happens in a banana republic. And trying to take out a political rival in Joe Biden. Criminally investigating an American political rival, someone the president is worried about losing to in the next election. To investigate uh, my principal opponent or a principal opponent uh, in the upcoming election. Houston, we have a problem. Don't you think that's something that should be investigated when the incumbent political party opens a counterintelligence investigation on the candidate of the opposing party? We know Trump is itching to politicize the Justice Department and the Attorney General has been super shady. The President is weaponizing the Department of Justice to bring cases against his enemies. The Department of Justice is in, a, is in an existential crisis. Again, it's yet another example of the Justice Department basically losing all of its independence in this administration. This is now about corrupting the next election. And for me, this was crossing the red line. The President who is actively trying to potentially steal the upcoming election. But to try to take out a political rival. The end goal? Being 2020. Donald Trump and his attorney general are using the Justice Department. The only difference between this and a banana republic 
is that Trump does not eat fruit. The 2020 election is really the last chance we have to stop our system from fully sliding into a corrupt banana republic. Bill Barr has done everything that Donald Trump has wanted him to do. Yeah. We're living in a banana republic right now. When you start using the Justice Department to go after your enemies, uh, that's, that's very, very dangerous. Donald Trump is using the Department of Justice to go after his enemies in any way that he can. Having the head of the chief federal law enforcement agency essentially working on his behalf to investigate a political rival. To investigate <laughs> a, the family of a political opponent. Basically, banana republic behavior. We're, we're no better than some, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. some banana republic. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the, the of presidency to try to do something to smear me. Um, we just have to demonstrate that he will not take power. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so as y'all can see, man, this is the game that they play. See, the thing is, the jig is up, man. They can't play the game no more because information travels too fast. You can't play the game no more. You you have to be honest. So for the, for the same thing they're saying about Donald Trump right now, Joe Biden is doing right now to Donald Trump. Exact same thing. I, I, I counted about 23 times they used the word banana republic. So the thing is, then that's why I think that uh, people got to understand what, what's going on. It's all a game. It's smoke and mirrors. This is not real. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump is not going to go to jail. Um, Hunter Biden is not going to go to jail. He's not going to go to jail. Hunter Biden goes to jail. His dad's going to pardon him. Simple as that. As long as he's in, in, in office. And Joe Biden is not going to get impeached. It's a game. Politic, uh, uh, politics is a game to keep people interested. Because for the most part, politics, politics is boring. Nobody cares about it. But if they can make it exciting and they make it feel like it's real, that's what they would do. Now, I'm not saying that these people are friends, but they know how far they can go. You know, Donald Trump's not going to go to jail because he has the president. He has he has immunity as, as the president. What he's going to do, take the Secret Service to prison with him because they with him for life. So what they're going to do, they're going to be in jail with him. Which makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the cases that that's that's against them. The Supreme Court just denied one of the cases. They wanted to check this out. They wanted to start the trial a day before Super Tuesday. So if they want to start the trial a day before Super Tuesday, that means that Donald Trump can't campaign. Which is crazy to me. This is what I mean by it's a game. So you go to the Supreme Court to tell the Supreme Court that you need to start the date of a trial before Super Tuesday, before the primaries, which is crazy. Why can't you start the trial after the primaries? Why do you need to start it before? This is what I'm saying, man. It's all a game. These people said the same exact thing about Donald Trump that Joe Biden is doing right now. It's the same exact thing. It's all a game. It's a game. I'm just, I'm convinced that it's a game. You know what I'm saying? That they've been playing. And they say the same thing. Every one of these people, they repeat the same thing. You know why they repeat the same thing? You know why? Because they want to embed it in your brain. That's why. They want you to start saying it. Banana Republic, Banana Republic, Banana Republic. We like, we, nobody even know what that even means. A good portion of people don't even know what Banana Republic means. But they say it. Yeah, he got us living in a Banana Republic. What does it mean? Oh, I don't know. Somebody in the jungle. <laughs> so, so, my biggest thing with, with that clip is that is what hypocrisy looks like. 2019 2020 2019 2020 they said the same thing 
And now they're saying what Joe Biden is doing right now, they're saying it's the right thing to do. Weaponizing the DOJ against Trump. Same thing. So I don't know, man. And here I thought Banana Republic was a clothing line yeah. or a clothing store. <laughs> is, uh, Learn something new every day. It's home too, Banana Republic. That's crazy. That is crazy. Man, listen. I I say it before and I say it again, you know what I mean? I hate politics, but they are doing some real trifling crap in in in, in today's uh political uh, debates and whatnot. They are doing some real trifling crap. Uh, when you say when you say recycling information, that's a fact because it's like uh, it's like radio, you know what I mean? They play the same song over and over and over and over again. That song could be straight trash, but they still playing it over and over again. The message on the song could mean nothing, but they still play it and then after a while, it programs in your brain and be like, oh, this might be kind of fire. But really, it's not. It's the same song over and over again. It's just making you think it's fire because behind the scenes, they getting paid some bread for that song to keep in rotation. So it's the same thing in politics. I'm going to keep repeating this word that really doesn't mean anything for you to think it means something and then eventually you're going to think it means something and then you're just going to fall in line. Mm-hmm. That's, that's basically what it is. I mean, the word does mean something. So, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious because I'm really not joking. I really don't know what it means. I just thought it was... It basically I'm, means that, that uh, they're running without, without laws. You know okay. I mean? All right, that makes sense. Laws. Okay. That's basically what it means like 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 they 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 can do whatever they want it doesn't matter but um it does mean something but see the thing is this is how you know that these these media outlets are they're not uh what they call a uh, journalist they're <laughs> because every one of these media outlets every one of them is supposed to be neutral but when they're you never watch, neutral they're not neutral that goes for all of them, but they supposed to be neutral. They supposed to True. tell you what it is, the truth. But they don't. What they do is they give you information that they feel you should know. That's it. They don't give you the truth. They give you the information, whether that's the truth or not. But they give you the information they think you should know, not the truth. You know what I'm saying? So if they if they give you the information that it's a bunch of propaganda, they're gonna cut it up. And people, the thing is, that, that how stupid people are. Is they know, they be knowing that this stuff is fraudulent, and they still go with it because they don't like the person, even though they know it's fraudulent. They'll still roll with it. That's how crazy people are. They'll know that something is wrong, and they'll still do it. But either way, man, that's what it is, man. Catch Pet Podcast. You know what it is, man. See y'all. Peace. We out of here. Bye.